What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you the secret to making a thousand dollars plus per month on KDP. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said, in this video, I am going to be giving you the secret to making a thousand dollars plus per month on KDP. Now, before I share that secret with you, I just thought I'd share my results and show you my Get Book Report account. Just so you can see that I do actually make over a thousand dollars per month. Personally, as we can see just here since starting, I've always made over a thousand dollars per month. Some months are really good, some months not so much, but it's always over that thousand dollars. And it's all because I stick to one main principle, and that's what I'm going to share with you. So, what is that main principle? What is the secret that you need to know? Well, simply put, it's creating books around what people are searching for. So let me say that again. You need to be creating books around what people are searching for. So many people just get ideas on books, go and publish them. I wonder why they're not actually making any sales. It's because you're not making books around what people are searching for. Now, there's a lot more moving parts when publishing, as you probably know, but that's the main principle I stick to. Now, you can use tools. You can use self-publishing Titans Chrome extension, this tool just here. You can use Helium 10. All these tools just help you with your research, but all the principles come down to, and that one main secret, is creating books around what people are searching for. So what do I mean? Let me show you some examples. Now let's pull up a notebook, like so. Now we can see what people are searching because Amazon has auto-populated all these different long tail keywords, but these are search terms, keywords, which people are searching for. So we have a notebook for women, notebook for kids, schools, girls, men, for work, journals, college ruled, these are what people are searching. So what you need to be doing is creating books around what people are searching for. Now there's so many ways to do research to find all these different long tail keywords which people are searching for. I have done a lot of these videos in the past, so what I'll do, link, I'll link probably one of the best ones I can find on my channel. I'll link it right there right now so you can go through and have a watch. But again, everything comes down to creating books around what people are searching for. You can go for high demand, low demand, micro niches, macro niches. It's up to you. But the principles and the secret is creating books around what people are searching for. Now, we have notebook up, but we can do this with composition notebooks, coloring books, activity books, planners, journals, log books, and the list goes on. But again, you need to create books around what people are searching for. So now, let's think of a niche. Let's do monkey notebook. Now, we can see people are searching for this because Amazon is auto-populating this. So I've put in monkey notebook and Amazon's auto-populated that search term. They auto-populate the search terms because that's what people are searching for. So that's how we can find out what people are searching for. It's really, really basic, but you really need to understand this. Once you understand this, you should start making sales. Now, you can do this and keep it very basic just by using Amazon. We can also use, as I mentioned before, SPT's Chrome extension, which is just here. If I had that turned on, it's going to give you the niche score for a certain keyword to see if it's profitable. I have done videos on that as well in the past, and I'll link that in the right-hand corner as well. There's so many ways to do this, but again, broken down into its most simplest form, you're just creating books around what people are searching for. So let's take a look at this again. We have monkey notebook. We could do pineapple notebook. 
Okay, so people are searching for this. How do we know? Because Amazon's auto-populating it. And there's quite a few more keywords. So when there's a lot more keywords, it means there's a lot more traffic. What do I mean by traffic? I mean people searching in that niche. So for Pineapple Notebook, we can see people are searching for this. And they're also searching for Pineapple Notebooks and Journals. For work for girls, for school. So I could click on this, I could dive deeper. Again, I could use the SPT Chrome extension. I could also take this search term, go over to Helium 10, plug it into Magnet just here, and then I could get all that keyword data. I could see related keywords and dive deeper into that niche. But again, it all comes down to creating books around what people are searching for. Now let's just give that a second to load up. And there we go. So Pineapple Notebook for Girls. We can see there's 564 results. So not really that many. Now, if we scroll down, we're not going to see amazing BSRs because something like this, a pineapple, pineapple notebook, isn't going to get very many searches. So this is more of a micro niche. And because it's more of a micro niche, the BSRs aren't going to be amazing, but you can expect to sell a few copies each and every month. So look at this. This is a pineapple notebook. There's a pineapple quote on the front with a pineapple and 223 um, reviews. And that BSR, look at that, 281,000. So this actually looks pretty good. But again, remember, something like this is a micro niche. So no matter how good of quality your book is, you're not going to make hundreds of sales each and every month in niches like this. But if you have books, say 10, 20, 30, 50 books in micro niches that all sell just a few copies each and every month, you can actually make a decent amount of royalties. But if we scroll down another one, so that's 227,000, not a KDP book, but it doesn't matter, 1.7 million BSR. So again, this is telling me that this is a micro niche, but this is what people are searching for, a pineapple notebook for girls. So do you think if I made a book, a pineapple notebook, and named it at, or aimed it at girls, targeting this long tail keyword, do you think that I'm going to make sales? More than likely if my book stands out from everyone else's on the platform. And all because I'm creating books around what people are searching for. So let's do a different type of book. Let's do a composition notebook. So right off the bat, we can see what people are searching for. We can see composition notebook wide ruled. Composition Notebook for Kids, Bunny. Composition Notebook and The Office. There's lots of ideas just here, but with this, you want to niche down. Now, with any type of book, you always want to niche down. So let's use Pineapple as an example again. Pineapple Composition Notebook. There's only two keywords, but we can see people are actually searching for this. So let's click on that and see how many results. On the left-hand side, we can see there's only 308 results for Pineapple Composition Notebook, but people are actually searching for this. Now, if we scroll down, we're going to see those BSRs. That's not even a Pineapple book, so I don't know why that's there. Right here, we can see a brand new one, doesn't have a BSR. If we scroll down a little bit more, there's a Composition Notebook, and it's a Pineapple one. And look at that, 141 reviews. BSR looks okay, but again, this is what people are searching for. Pineapple Composition Notebook. And we can do this for multiple different niches. So let's do, we did pineapple, we did monkey. Let's just do a standard dog. Actually, no, let's niche that down and do a pug. Pug Composition Notebook is auto-populated. We can see that, so people are searching for that. And there's only 200 results. So now if we scroll down, take a look at those BSRs. So let's go to here. 3 million BSR. That doesn't look that great. I don't recommend trying to create notebooks or any type of books with pictures on the front or photos because they just don't tend to sell that well. Now if we scroll down more, we have a composition notebook and it's a pug. 1.2 million BSR, 7 reviews. So people are buying in this niche 
people are also searching in this niche. How do we know that? Because Amazon has auto-populated it again. It all comes down to creating books around what people are searching for. So if you start creating books around what people are searching for, then you will start getting a lot better results. Now, just give that a second to load up. In fact, let's just go back over to Amazon. But what I've just showed you here can be done in any niche and can be done completely for free. You don't need all of these tools. All these tools just help you. I like having all these tools because it just gives me a lot more data. But if you're low on cash and can't afford Helium 10, then use self-publishing Titan's Chrome extension for free. Again, this is going to show you if a niche is profitable, but in these micro niches, it doesn't tend to work that well. But again, it all comes down to what people are searching for. So let's take away Pug. Let's do a cat. Cat composition notebook. We can see people are actually searching for this. Let's do a Dino, Dino Composition Notebook. People are searching this just here. Let's do Dino Saw, Dinosaur Composition Notebook. We can see Dinosaur Composition Notebook for kids. Journal for kids, grade K2. That is very, very specific. Do you think if you created a book around this keyword that you would make sales? More than likely. How do we know? Because people are searching for this and there's actually only 196 results. So if you've now published quite a few books and you're not really making many sales, go through your library and have a look at your books and ask yourself, did you create your books around what people are searching for? If not, that's what you should start doing. Because here's my account again. We can see it since I've started in November 2018. I've sold quite a few books now, as we can see, and again, it all comes down to creating books around what people are searching for. As soon as you start doing that, you'll start making an income. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and... I'll see you again soon.